why is there a dragon riding a horse? Oh, hey YouTube, Sean gave me here and I was looking at the stickers. Like normally when I start recording, the little video monitor thing goes away and I can see the green lights. I didn't see the green lights, but whatever. We're here with another snack crate video for you guys. And this one is from the Netherlands, to be honest with you. And I was just thinking about how do I per correctly pronounce some of these things. Like you have a windmill that's pronounced windmill. And then you have shoes, those are called clogs. And then you have, uh, I was about to call her a wench. Oh God. I don't want to call her a maid either. A, a, a lady farmhand. That's what we're going to call her. A lady farmhand. And then you have a demon riding a bicycle. Somebody's going to please have to explain that one to me. And of course, like always, you have the flag and the little snack crate thing. Why is there a demon? Is that supposed to be a lion? Alright. So, <laughs> it looks like a demon. Uh, so this is from, I don't know what to expect. All right, they have paprika flavored lays there. This is not a big box at all. Oh, I'm looking right, well not anymore, but I was looking right at a snack crate, smaller box. You can actually get the whole box in frame this time. The how do you spell paprika? Wait, no, look. It's mustard, onion, curry, and mayo. Also, mayo is Japanese. Let me see. I might be able to get Yeah. Oh, okay. So, they're called waffles. They're pretty much, uh, what do they call Fritos? Or, yeah, Fritos. Not Funyuns. Fritos. I don't think they're Uh-oh. Walkills, Walkills. I just woke up like less than thirty minutes ago, so forgive me if things aren't pronounced right. That's my excuse for this time. Any other time, just call me an idiot. <laughs> but it, well, they actually kind of put a lot of stuff in here. Uh, I don't. Know. They got like these coin candies. It looks like, huh? I heard you. But I'm looking through, it's like, this actually looks kind of interesting. This box. Oh, wow. We got a lot of stuff. Let's start with something I know or hope. Huh? I don't want to do the chips yet. I like doing the chips last. The chips are normally the best thing in the box. Just one. But I did found... Yes. Uh, so these are called look o look or look look o, but I'm pretty sure it's called look o look. And these are pretty much sour straws. So let's start off with these. See, a little backstory on these for this box is we just got a candy club box, which we probably should have did an opening on that. Oh, I didn't want to bring like all candy, but we did get like a candy club box. Um, if we ever get another one, then we'll probably do our unboxing on that one. But it's pretty simple. It's it's not like as um, como se you said random as this. You actually pick what you want. Like we got like sour octopuses, sour watermelons, sour pe peach drink. Whatever watermelon rings or apple rings one. Right. It's actually good. Um, yeah, you get like five things and how much were they for like a box of like sixty dollars? And you get like a nice size amount of all of them. Like real gourmet candy. Like this is good. This little sour shrimp right here, good. Then we get sour shrimps in that box too. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. Um, we have another thing of sour strips. We're not gonna do that with yet. And that wow, that was actually good. Let's do these small jetties UFOs. Small jetty UFOs. I mean, yeah. 
Tasty cookies, chocolate, a layer of chocolate with candy coated milk. Smolietis. Because it has, instead of an I, it's a J. So I'm saying Smolietis. Smol, Smolietis. There's a T right in front of the J. Whatever. And, oh, uh, they just look like little cute little UFO cookies. Like something you make for a kid's birthday party. A little cookie, a little chocolate, a little candy. Whoa, whoa, hold on. <laughs> that was a random taste. It was nasty, but not nasty. Like somebody didn't do it right. Mm -mm. And they gave us two packs of that. And now we have Pin Pindenberg, Pingen, Pin Pindenberg, Pinden. Yeah, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Oh my God! You should eat the second one. O e n t b i j t k o e k a on the jet coke. On the jet coke. But. This gingerbread has been baked in marinade. So gingerbread. Oh, and oh, it's gingerbread. Oh. On the, the, I'm pretty sure if my nose was stocked up. It's gingerbread. That's all it is, guys. It's just gingerbread. I don't want to open it too, too much. Because we went back through last month's snack crate. Everything's still in there. <laughs> Everything is still in. There. Except for the suckers and the uh, bacon bites. And those stuffy things. The Just gingerbread. Yeah, white right, gingerbread cake. Ew, it's a cake. It's sponge cake. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So we have a chocolate bar. Colette, Colette Dior. Oh, it's just chocolate. Yeah. I figure. Cote Dior. It has a little symbol over it. So, Koi, Koi, Te, Cote. And then the D has a apostrophe after it. Capital O. All right, cool, 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 like cool. Cool. That is a O. Not, no, like Look. Oh, see, I'm looking at Oh, yeah. It's Quartet Dior. It's just uh, hazelnut chocolate or chocolate with hazelnuts in it. Which one was it? You said it's chocolate with hazelnuts in it? Uh, as you can see just a chocolate bar. The nut is actually sticking on the bottom. So, uh, there you go. There's my piece. What? Don't take that bag to me. And then we have another smaller chocolate thing. We're probably not going to open these. It's too, I guess it's early in the morning, too much chocolate. These are pronounced Kajet Reap. Kajet Reap. I know Kajet uh, is only one word. Oh, mine is broken down. Whatever. I'm trying. I'm really trying. Uh, yeah, just another little chocolate bar. Probably just like a small milk chocolate bar. So. Oh, it's the most. That's the one we should eat then. And then we have 
like always, coffee candy. All I see is K O F F, and that's all I need to know. Name after the small one. Uh huh. So you have Pokemon and everything. I mean, Uh. No, I just got that one. Yeah. What crown? Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, so these are just little coffee candies. You know what? I'll be a trooper. I don't like coffee or coffee candy, but I'll be a trooper for the video. You eat iced coffee. You don't eat iced coffee. Whatever. <laughs> it's, it's not. It really isn't. It really is. Ice coffee doesn't stink. Coffee doesn't stink. Coffee stinks. It's like, it's like... In my opinion, coffee stinks. That wasn't that bad. It wasn't super strong. It's like somebody put some creamer in their coffee. Oh, like iced coffee? Regular coffee and iced coffee. I cannot do Especially with the way your people drink their coffee, just black. It's not black, but it's not sugar. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they put three packs of that small sugar and a large coffee, and they think it's gonna help. Oh, oh, oh! That's such a difference. <laughs> okay. Now we have strope waffle. And it's like a little pastry you drink with crunchy, you take it. Like you place it on it. I'm about to say <laughs> something you just use with you eat with your coffee, but you place it on top of your coffee. To soften the caramel. Oh oh that's, so smart. that's yeah, so what you do is you take your hot coffee and then you open one of these up, you put it on top, and then it melts the Caramel, so we got a nice little morning snack. Nice little morning snack. Me, I had this. Yeah, this is like a little waffle thing. It looks like a small little waffle. And then you can't even see where the caramel. Oh yeah, you can. So let's. Oh yeah, and it's like, huh, it's like really, really hard to like tear off too. Yeah, this is real, uh, como se dice, caramel. It's actually not that bad. But... I know, but. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And like yeah. So basically, like in the morning, you're off to work. Uh, you don't got that much time to make you something, but you need something. Just grab your coffee, grab one or two of these, put it on there, and you'll have a little snack that tastes like a waffle in the morning. So we've had chocolate. Let's open this thing up. Vinso. Yeah, the Dutch are serious about black I knew it. I knew it. There could be none more black than this classic licorice bites. Uh, yeah, these are black licorice bites. Yeah, I don't like black licorice. Huh? Mooting drop. And they're in the shape of coins, so I don't know if they're supposed to be in the shape of their currency. But they're shaped like little coins. They look like, uh, what are those things? Counters in like Dungeons and Dragons or Pokemon or something. They look like little counters. Like, oh no, I lost 25 health points on my Bulbasaur. Let me put two counters on there and a clear one to represent the half. <laughs> Ah, uh, yep, can't even bite it. Why are you such a I'm a trooper. But it's nasty. I love how I licked it like and I did it again. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 not fun. And I did it a third time. It's like What's right? It's a tinsel 
the pip. Oh, okay. Oh, I was about to say, <laughs> got this from a different country. I just, I just read it to you from the back of the bag. Yeah. The facts. I'll just I'll read the back of the bag to you. Language. <laughs> <laughs> we hoarding glass. Oh, hell no. <laughs> but the first word is literally we. We hoarding glass. Van we hoch jog e roch. Uh, whatever. I was, but then we have more candy. And. Yeah, so we're about to jump into the chips. These are big. I thought they were gonna be small, like. Yeah, it is. No, not like not bad. Like they're good. Yeah. Uh oh, so this is dumbass. I I'm such a dummy. They have the little open symbol on the side of the thing. You see like little arrow to tell you what to rip. Like if you're smart, you'll read that. But it's in a different language and you don't know this stuff when you're looking at the packaging. Are you smirking or do you Zero, zero much, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I started off with the up one. Oh, you actually bit it? So, yeah, it's just another little candy shirt. What flavor is this? Strawberry or watermelon? Oh, so that's a little another sour patch shirt. They're very like non-descriptive. They'll tell you the flavor and what they did. They just tell you what it is. Now, the smurfing chocolate sticks. They're all they are. Yep. Okay. White the white chocolate, chocolate. wheat chocolate. And it's, oh yeah. See, uh, the other day I was in the car while you were getting the stuff, the stuff, and I was watching Screw Attack Cast of Death Battle. And for some reason they were, well, Torian and the other guy was dressed like Smurfs. And they were like, why is Gargamel trying to uh, eat them? And, well, take, well, kill them for their magic or whatever. Yeah, but they were like, how would he know unless he's done that before? But he apparently... Huh? But how would he know what the Smurfs are and where to find them? Like, how? who who gave him the book? So apparently they were like, uh, somewhere in Smurf lore, uh, there was a mass genocide of Smurfs that were killed for their magic. That's where the big book of spells comes from. That's how Gargamel knows how to do everything. In the movies, if I'm not mistaken, I think he just like happened upon. You know how they like have been put out of their town? Mm -hmm. Oh, these are mine. Them, these are mine. How he created um, Perfect and put her and sent her out there so that she could find him. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. But I was just, I just thought that was interesting. Like, yeah, how would somebody else know? So that's pretty much everything, guys. We got a little quick history lesson on. Oh, she don't. Oh, she don't like white chocolate. So that whole. I got a whole little box on. <laughs> so, yep. This wasn't that bad of a box. Yeah. Well, two the coffee candy and the black licorice. And they give you a thick bag of these too. Yeah. yeah, that's a big bag of them. So it's like you say, you got the black licorice. And I believe this is the mini size box too. We got this time. Oh, it's the original just small. <coughs> oh, okay. So you start handing me stuff so I can put it back in the box. And showing everybody again. Then we had the chips that were pretty good. I don't, how would I describe these chips in flavor? Like a lace chip. Yeah. 
check for the minute, like a regular, a plain ones check. What's paprika on it? I guess, yeah. We're like a pizza crust. Uh, the, you know, sour candies. Pretty good. Oh, no, actually, those are really good. I love sour candy, but I can't eat it all the time. Normally, I just get regular gummy worms instead of sour gummy worms. These are good. These straws, they remind me. What are the, what are the American? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mama, get these to my mom. Chocolate candy. Every time we get an abundance of chocolate, it goes right to my mom. <laughs> huh? Oh shit! Oh shit! What did you drop? The sponge cake. Oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> sponge cake, you know, pretty good. It was what? Uh, I won't say raisin bran. <laughs> uh, gingerbread. gingerbread, yeah. And the last thing were those cookies, those UFO cookies. But all in all, decent box. Uh, the the Netherlands they have. Why would you give me this? <laughs> she gave me everything she didn't eat. <laughs> she just gave me everything she didn't eat. Uh, so, as long as it's not wet. That would have been gross. <laughs> but that's been a box. We also have, you're probably going to see a double upload of Snack Crate videos because I still haven't uploaded Columbia. So, sorry. Uh, I still don't know if these videos are sponsored, so I'm going to make sure I get all these videos out. I need to do a whole refresh of my computer desktop like I have so many different like videos and stuff I've already done completed and things like that I just need to get rid of um since I'm already recording I might pause this save it or stop editing this save it and get you guys a thoughts and review on the greatest royal rumble and everything that happened on raw so be on the lookout for those videos um, I don't know what else is coming down the pipeline. I need to like sit down and write a list of videos I need to do with this so I can start getting back on a consistent schedule uploading about it. Ugh, my tooth isn't killing me every single day now. Knock on wood. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. All of that good stuff. Plus more link in the description down below. Plus a link to snack crate there's no discount codes just yet maybe if i go check my emails really good i'll get you guys a discount code or maybe i could just send snack crate an email and probably give you guys a five or ten percent discount code so we'll be working on that over the next couple of weeks um share that with your friends subscribe if you are new here and if you are new please hit that notification bell to be notified whenever new content is looked updated updated yeah. <laughs> updated to the, that's like a mix between live stream and update and updating uh on the channel comment down below if you've ever been to the netherlands or have had netherland type snacks and or food what is your favorite product and or dish if you had any drinks from the netherlands what are their drinks like because what was the last thing they gave us that milkshake soda I know, I'm just saying, the last time we got a drink from somewhere around the world, it was a milkshake soda from, I believe, South Korea. Yeah. Uh, it, wasn't bad, it wasn't, yeah. Like, maybe if I would have let it chill more, it would have been better. But we're rambling now while well, I'm rambling. Uh, yeah, look up, be on the lookout for more new content. I might do an Infinity War review. I don't know how I'm going to do that because one of us seen it and one of us hasn't. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, some people just like to argue with you. <laughs> but with all that being said, new content coming. I am Sean the Gamer, and I am out of here.